thing I want to talk about is the bow saw. Now this is a small bow saw, but it represents the general structure that they always have. So you can see, you can see that this consists of a frame or a bow and then the blade itself, and then the handle. The handle releases the blade here from a little slide in catch. And then the other end has a pin that sticks through it, a hole in the blade to hold it in. And then you just tighten it up, cinch it up again with this handle on the uh, one side. You can also get them in a more useful size. This is a 22 inch. This would be good for cutting limbs off trees, small to medium sized limbs, um, as well as doing tree trimming. I do a lot of lower branch clearing off some of our pines here when the pine branches get long and sweeping and come across our trails or just come out too wide around uh, different areas. I'd like to maybe trim them up to a certain height to get them off of the trail or just clear out an area there where we can walk more readily. The distance in here is really what determines how big of a limb or a branch or a log that these saws can cut. You'll see they have um, large teeth on these blades. These are for more cutting green wood or soft wood trees. Whereas they also sell blades with finer teeth and more frequent teeth and they're for cutting hardwood or dried wood that becomes more hard as it dries. The smaller teeth cut into the dried wood more easily than these big teeth do. Now I use these blades for everything here too. It's just a little more awkward sometimes on the really dried wood. Pretty well the largest ones you can currently buy are 36 inch bow saws. That's what I have here. You can see now we're talking maybe being able to cut a log that's 8 to 10 inches across. Certainly when they get that large using a bow saw can be a bit tiring. But if you're not in a rush and you just have a few chunks or a few logs to cut up, these are fine. You put the log on a sawhorse, take your time, and you can cut through a log, a fairly decent log, in about a minute. And then you'll, you know, in an hour of cutting, you'd have a fair pile of, of logs sitting there. I just find often when I'm going out to clear some trails or cut up some fallen trees, small trees that have fallen over, what have you. I just often find these bow saws a lot more handy than finding or picking up the chainsaw, filling it with gas, mixing the gas, filling it with chain oil, carrying it out there. Um, you got the smoke and the stink and the noise. And it's, I just find this such so much more relaxing. You get some exercise in your arms. Now, Prior to the 70s and 60s and 50s, they actually made very large bow saws, four feet or more in length. And here's an example of one of those. And as you can see here, the frame size would allow you to cut a foot and a half wide log. It would still be a fair amount of work because it, it would be a large amount, a fair amount of resistance going through a big log like that, but um, I really wish I could still find blades for, for this saw because they, it would be handy to be able to cut larger wood sometimes. But these have pretty well gone out of production as far as I can see on the internet. I use them as I said frequently for trimming trees along trails or cutting small, smaller diameter firewood, four to six inches in size. Once you get wood that's a lot larger than that, then it does become a bit difficult to do a lot of it with a bow saw, but um, otherwise it's great. they're great for doing smaller diameter stuff and also trimming uh, branches off the sides of trees. Here we have a lot of pines in the plantation that uh, sometimes I like to keep the branches trimmed up to a certain height just to allow, e allow easier travel through the, the plantation. Anyhow, let's go and see how to work a bow saw. So here I've got a 
about a six or so inch uh, piece of hardwood. It's uh, known as ironwood, which is one of the hardest woods we have around here. And this one's been drying for a year or two, so it's good and hard. I'm gonna use the 36 inch bow saw. Now ideally, I'd have this up higher on a horse, a saw horse, so I didn't have to bend over to do it. And I'm not holding it down with anything but my foot, so it might be a bit tricky to uh, get going on it. But uh, anyhow, I'll just give you a demonstration. The key is to use as much as the blade as you can in the long sweeping motion. Just try to keep it going steadily. You're not necessarily pressing down hard on the saw, just a, a slight press down on the frame, but uh, you're basically letting the blade do the work. You're just drawing it back and forth the full length of the blade. If you go too far towards the ends, it'll catch because the teeth end before the end of the blade, somewhat an inch and a half or so before the end of the blade, and it'll often catch. So you just want to keep it going over the teeth themselves. Just want to start it short uh, little pullbacks first, and then you start using the, as much of the blade as you can to make it most efficient. There you go, nice little chunk of six inch or so ironwood. That went through fairly quickly, considering the hardness of this wood. So, here's a case where I will use a bow saw to maybe quickly clear some branches or a tree that's fallen down. This is a small pin cherry and uh, you can basically just use it quickly to take the branch off. They're very light, and that's the one thing I really like about them, depending on the size, but I mean, even the larger ones that you get, the 36 inch ones are light. This is the 22 inch one, and you can see how quickly they go through, really, for small stuff. And I just like often taking something like this out instead of dragging a chainsaw, putting gas in it, starting it, smelling the fumes, listening to the racket. I would much rather often take just a little hand saw. You get some good exercise. You get to hear the nature. You don't have to pollute anything. You don't have to smell any toxic fumes. So I just uh, often will like these for doing the uh, smaller trimming work. Now obviously chainsaws have their place for doing bigger bucking of wood, big diameter logs and uh, chopping them up into sections. That's where chainsaws are going to be useful for sure. So this is some of the kind of thing I would often use the uh, bow saw for. Clearing fallen brush, clearing trail sides. There you go.